Flooding, mudslides, and traffic accidents. Today's winter storm causing widespread damage across the county. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Marty Ojeda. I'm Catherine Garcia. While the rain has pretty much stopped for today, the cleanup is just getting underway. That heavy rain overwhelmed the drainage pipe this morning, causing it to burst and wash out a hillside. This happened on the exit from the 163 to 6th Avenue and University. This is in Hillcrest. The rain runoff left a big hole underneath the Washington Street Bridge. And this was the scene in Nestor this afternoon. Flooding from the storm has neighbors concerned about their living situation once again. People at the Country Air Apartments were sweeping out the water from inside their homes just days after moving back in. Many were forced to move out following last week's storm. It's very hard, you know. My son was asking me if we were going to have um, Christmas. You know, we didn't even get to do um, Thanksgiving because of the flooding. I was at the hospital during, during everything, and it's just been very hard for all of us. The property manager told us the city inspector is going tomorrow to look at the issue with that storm drain. Well, from the streets to the freeways, Wednesday's uh, rainstorm made for slick roads, caused a lot of car accidents, including this four car chain reaction crash on the 78 West. Nobody was hurt. Um, that was not the case downtown. However, an elderly woman was killed after being in a crash on the five. While the weather is clearing up tonight, another storm is on the way. Dagmar has more on when we can expect that to arrive. So what are we looking at for our Thursday? Well, drier skies at the very least. You won't have much of a chance of any kind of sprinkles, but you are looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies. Mild conditions, though, as well. So the coast will be at the mid-60s. Inland valleys, mid to upper 60s, partly to mostly cloudy on and off. Mountains about the mid to the upper 40s. That's not too bad at all. Deserts, you've got that mid-60 mark. Some sunshine mixed in there. A little bit of cloud cover as well. I'm going to take you way out now and show you the next possible chance for showers in this forecast. So we'll take you way out and start you with that satellite radar our image Thursday at 8 p.m. Drier skies, yes, but partly to mostly cloudy skies. Friday 6 a.m. There you see it now, an approaching system from the south as well as from the north and northwest. So our chance for showers begins as early as Friday evening. Heading into the weekend, we have another round of rain on the way. The man accused of a deadly stabbing in the Midway District is now in custody. Ventura police say 38-year-old Forrest Robert Brantley was arrested in Ventura. San Diego police said Brantley is suspected of stabbing and killing Robert Irby on Thanksgiving morning. It happened outside a 7-Eleven in the Midway District. He is expected to be booked into Ventura County Jail and eventually extradited to San Diego County. San Diego County health officials reported another flu death. A 59-year-old woman from the East County died on November 23rd. This is now the sixth flu death in San Diego County this season. So far, 930 flu cases have been reported. That's more than double the number reported the same time last year. Local health officials continue to urge people six months and older to get vaccinated as flu activity increases. An update now on the boil water advisory in Poway. The city says that it has found the part of the system that failed and that the tests now show that the water is free of bacteria, but the city will continue collecting samples through tomorrow. The cleanup process includes flushing out the entire water system. That's going to take some time, so the boil water advisory could last all the way through the weekend. A Mission Bay woman is fighting for the chance to represent Team USA at the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. That is Danielle Wolf. Uh, she didn't even pick up a pair of boxing gloves until she was in her late 20s. Now at 36 years old, she is a serious contender to make the Olympics in the women's welterweight division. But to do so, she will have to win the Team USA trials event that start this weekend in Louisiana. A 10-year-old San Diego girl's wish to explore Scottish castles is coming true thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and Macy's. <laughs> Julia Davidson is battling cancer. It is in remission right now, but she got this surprise announcement today visiting Macy's store at UTC Mall. The team effort provides children with critical illnesses the chance to really experience life beyond their illness and see their biggest wishes come true. Next week, you get the chance to help make trips like this happen for others. Watch NBC7 next Thursday, December 12th, for a chance to call in and donate your frequent flyer miles. Well, thanks for joining us tonight for our nightly check-in. We are live on TV every night at 6 and 11. And we will have breaking news updates on NBC7.com. Have a good night, everyone.